This is not the first time Donald Trump has said, look, if I was still in the White House, if I was in the Oval Office, this would not have happened. He, he referred to what happened in Ukraine this way. He's referred to what's happened in other uh, places around uh, the world. And now this attack, leaving three service members dead. Weakness in the White House certainly has our enemies emboldened, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it sure does. And for every reversal of a Trump administration policy, there has been a negative and in many instances deadly consequence, as we saw yesterday, with the killing of three of our United States service members. Just tragic. And our hearts and prayers and thoughts are with the service members' families. I just actually saw that the names of those individuals, two of them in their 20s, were just announced. And it's a grave tragedy that is completely avoidable. Uh, President Trump cut the neck off of the snake that is the Iranian regime. He launched new damning sanctions on them when he immediately took office in 2017. Joe Biden reversed those sanctions immediately upon taking office in 2021. President Trump infamously uh, declared the United States would no longer take part in the Iranian nuclear agreement, the disastrous policy that Joe Biden helped usher when he was vice president under Barack Obama. And within one month of taking office, Joe Biden formerly offered to to restart official talks with the Iranian regime. We also know that Joe Biden unfroze $6 billion just one month before Iranian-backed Hamas terrorist group launched that deadly and brutal attack on our friend and nation ally Israel. And Joe Biden's reversal of the sanctions have led the Iranians to be incredibly rich and powerful over the past few years. That is why you've seen more than 100 airstrikes on United States military bases in the Middle East just since this past November. None of this was occurring under President Trump because, again, he recognized our enemies, he punished them, rightfully so, and he led through a position of peace through strength and let the world know that if you mess with the United States, especially if you target our brave men and women that are in the region, you will pay deadly consequences. And it's been sure. more than 24 hours now since our soldiers had been killed. Still no forceful response from Joe Biden, still no reversal of the sanctions that led to, or more sanctions that uh, ultimately led to this attack in the first place from the Iranians.